Hey guys, welcome to your bonus love reading for Aries. This is going to be for your um, rest of your March 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations, switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aries people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Um, so let's get started here, Aries. Aries in love. Bonus love reading for Aries. Aries in love. What's going on with Aries in love and the person that they are connecting with for the rest of their March 2024 Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aries. For Aries. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups here. Okay. The Moon. Cancer, Pisces, Energy. Some of you guys could be having dreams about your partner here. Yeah. We have the sun. Seems like something is being revealed to you here at this time. Okay. Your partner could be hiding something from you. Somebody here is hiding something. Could be hiding options here. Okay. So we have the sun and the moon. The sun, Leo energy, the moon, Cancer, Pisces, the five of wands. <coughs> Excuse me. And the five, yeah, five of wands. I feel like this secret that's being revealed here will break out into some sort of fight here. We have the two of swords here and the two of cups. So you could be dealing with someone here, Aries, that is dealing with options here, okay? So I feel like this person's definitely been hiding that from you, okay? With the lovers here, Gemini Energy and the Seven of Cups. We have the Nine of Wands here in the moon. So whatever secret is being revealed here, this is going to hurt you in a way. I mean, I feel like we, once you find out, yeah, once you find out, I feel like you're going to move on from this or that you're going to break up with this individual here okay so the nine of pentacles and the sun leo energy the six of swords and the five of wands and the three of swords and the two of swords here i mean there could be a pattern of this that, uh, hap uh, that has kept happening between you and your person here with the two of cups why is the two of cups here the two of cups and the strength card you know one of the things i'm getting here is that you feel like even though this situation has been painful you guys still have a very strong bond with each other here and I feel like it's it's going to be difficult for you to leave this Aries or that it's been very difficult for you to leave this. But I actually see you guys coming back together. Now, what else do we have here for Aries? The person that Aries is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Aries? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Aries? For the rest of the March 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aries. With the Ace of Wands. So someone here is definitely looking for a passionate new beginning here with you. Seven of Wands here. I feel like this person wants to fight for this connection here. Okay, this person def definitely wants to reach out to you with some sort of communication to tell you that they want to be with you again. They want happily ever after here with you. Uh, you know, I do feel like this person wants to apologize for breaking your heart here. It's interesting because I feel like this person has done this over and over and over and over again. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Ace of Swords, and the Four of Swords. I see this person definitely coming back around for some sort of communication here, but I feel like you're going to ignore this individual. Now, you're going to ignore this individual here. And it seems like with the Justice card and the Five of Pentacles, yeah, someone here is definitely coming back with some sort of truth here. This person might be in this energy of wanting, wanting to pro provide you with some sort of clarity or that they found clarity themselves after this big blow up that you guys had with each other here. With the Ten of Cups, why is the Ten of Cups here? Ton of cups. Why is the ton of cups here? 
Ten of Cups and the Six of Cups. Yeah, this person's definitely looking to reconcile here. Just keep that in mind that we are in the pre-shadow phases of Mercury retrograde. So I'm not really surprised that, you know, past energy is coming back around. We have the Page of Pentacles here in the Eight of Wands. Okay, we have someone here that's reaching out to you with communication coming in very, very quickly, very, very, very fast. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like, you know, this person left you alone to be with somebody else and now i feel like this person's alone now uh, now that this person's alone i feel like they're coming back around and i feel like this person's alone because i feel like this person has a tendency to behave like this not just with you but with other people here the knight of cups here cancer scorpio pisces the four of swords here and the five of swords yeah this person's definitely in for a rude awakening here because you're not playing this person's games anymore okay you are uh, you you know i feel like they're definitely trying everything that's to they're definitely trying everything to bring you back here. I do feel like whoever this is, this is an individual that's dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety at this time. What else do we have here for the Aries? What else does Aries need to know, look out for, work on when it comes to this love situation here for the rest of March 2024? So we have the Devil, Capricorn energy. Seems like you could have been dealing with the Karmic here with the Emperor Aries energy. This person's incredibly controlling here. We have the Empress of the Empress. True pairs here, you guys. We have the Hierophant. I feel like you're this Empress here, Aries, to be quite honest. Yeah, I, I do feel like you're definitely stepping away from... You're turning your back on this person for good. You just can't deal with the to toxicity. You can't deal with this person's maybe narcissistic behavior here. Seems like this person has a tendency to get what they want here. Okay, and I feel like when this person doesn't get it, I feel like this person has a major, major, major meltdown. I, I feel like someone here is about to have a major meltdown here because I feel like you're not giving this person what they want anymore. And I feel like maybe in the past you might have a tendency, you might have had a tendency to do that. Um, the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy, Hierophant, Taurus energy, Libra energy, Taurus energy with the Empress, Aries energy with the Emperor. Capricorn energy with the devil here. Um, so we have the temperance card, Sagittarius energy. Interesting. This person, their energy is definitely... They are dark, but they're masking as a light, you know? They're masking, yeah. So we have the seven of swords here. This person has a tendency to just lie. Lie, 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 lie. We have the, the three of wands here and the, the uh, empress here. So I feel like you're definitely turning your back on the situation here. Going into hermit mode. Okay. Introspecting, self-reflecting, healing here. Really finding closure in the situation here and moving on from this person for good. Seems like this roller coaster ride that you've been on with this individual is over. Because I feel like you're just putting a stop to it, Aries. You're done with this. You just don't want to deal with the situation anymore. This person lies. You know, this person definitely creates, uh, you know, some imbalances in your life. You know, I feel like this person drives you completely nuts and completely crazy. So, Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.